Get government grants now for your small business. Learn how at the very end of this video. Hi, my name is Brian S. Mahoney of BrianSMahoneyOnline.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about abrasive blasting. There are several types of abrasive blasting techniques. Let's begin with bead blasting. Bead blasting. Bead blasting is the process of removing surface deposits by applying fine glass beads at a high pressure without damaging the surface. It is used to clean calcium deposits from pool tiles or any other surfaces and removes embedded fungus and brightened grout color. It is also used in auto body work to remove paint. In removing paint for auto body work, bead blasting is preferred over sandblasting as sandblasting tends to invite rust formation under repainted surfaces. Wheel blasting. In wheel blasting, a wheel uses centrifugal force to propel the abrasive against the object. It is typically categorized as an airless blasting operation because there is no propellant, gas, or liquid used. A wheel machine is a high-powered, high-efficiency blasting operation with recyclable abrasive, typically steel or stainless steel shot cut wire, grit, or similarly sized pellets. Specialized wheel blast machines propel plastic abrasive in a sidrogenic chamber and is usually used for deflashing plastic and rubber components. The size of the wheel blast machine and the number and power of the wheels vary considerably depending on the parts to be blasted as well as on the expected result and efficiency. The first blast wheel was patented by Will Labrador in 1932. Hydroblasting. Hydroblasting, commonly known as water blasting, is commonly used because it usually requires only one operator. In hydroblasting, a highly pressured stream of water is used to remove old paint, chemicals, or buildup without damaging the original surface. This method is ideal for cleaning internal and external surfaces because the operator is generally able to send the stream of water into places that are difficult to reach using other methods. Another benefit of hydroblasting is the ability to recapture and reuse the water, reducing waste and mitigating environmental impact. Microabrasive blasting. Microabrasive blasting is dry abrasive blasting process that uses small nozzles, typically 0.25 millimeters to 1.5 millimeter in diameter, to deliver a fine stream of abrasive accurately to small part or small area on a large part. Generally, the area to be blasted is from about 1 millimeter to only a few centimeters at most. Also known as pencil blasting, the fine jet of abrasive is accurate enough to write directly on glass and delicate enough to cut a pattern in an eggshell. The abrasive media particle sizes range from 10 micrometers up to about 150 micrometers. Higher pressures are often required. The most common microabrasive blasting systems are commercial bench mounted units consisting of a power supply and mixer, exhaust hood, nozzle, and gas supply. The nozzle can be handheld or fixture mounted for automatic operation. Either the nozzle or part can be moved in automatic operation. Automated blasting. Automated blasting is simply the automation of the abrasive blasting process. Automated blasting is frequently just a step in a large automated procedure, usually involving other surface treatments such as preparation and coating applications. Care is often needed to isolate the blasting chamber from mechanical components that may be subject to dust fouling. Dry ice blasting. 
In this type of blasting, air and dry ice are used. Surface contaminants are dislodged by the force of frozen carbon dioxide particles hitting at high velocity and by slight shrinkage due to freezing which disrupts adhesion bonds. The dry ice eliminates leaving no residue to clean up after than the removed material. Dry ice is relatively soft material so less destructive to the underlying material than sandblasting. For information on getting deep discounts on dry ice blasting equipment or if you are interested in starting your own dry ice blasting business, click the link in the description. Then get information on how you can get free government grant money for your small business. By hitting the link in the description, you will also learn how to start and advertise your very own small business for free. Also click the subscribe button below so that you can stay updated to all the free videos we will be uploading to YouTube. Share this video with your social media friends. And your opinion is very valuable so leave a comment below and let me know what topic you would like to see covered in my next video. Again, visit Brian S. Mahoney online.com and don't wait. You'll wait your life away.